forest near the UBC farm and we're going to talk about soil compaction but what exactly is soil compaction? Yes, so soil compaction is a process of soil densification uh, caused by the ex uh, application of external force, mm -hmm. usually over short duration. And how do we usually measure that? Uh, there are many methods to be used uh, to indicate soil compaction. As the most frequently used methods is a bulk density uh, sampling method. So here in the forest, if we have to choose between a core method and an excavation method, what do we select? Because it's a forest area and usually the coarse material will um, account for a much higher percentage for the uh, soil texture. So if the volume of the coarse material um, occupies over 20%, of the total volume, then you would consider the use of the excavation method because under that condition, the ring method would not uh, work. And even you, you can just hammer in a ring and you would get a quite a low uh, bulk density value than the real condition. So here in the forest, we'll opt for an excavation method and yeah. let's get started. We've randomly selected this site in the forest and it seems representative of the area. So what's the first step to get started with the excavation? Okay, so uh, we focus on the mineral soil, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the forest floor is a common thing uh, in forest area. So first we need to get rid of the uh, forest floor. Okay. So that, that's what we have to do now. So we want to get down to the mineral soil. Yeah. And, but you do not want to scoop the mineral soil away. So very carefully when you almost reach to the mineral soil. So we clear a spot and make the area big enough to fit our plate. Okay. Yeah. And all the little pine cones and needles, we want those gone as well? We didn't want because, you know, they're just organic. So and they will not uh, uh, indicate any soil uh, compaction condition. If it can fit the plate. We measure the real volume occupied by the soil, not, uh, not this like this pore space between the uh, soil surface and the plate. So we use four nails, um, but if two nails uh, work, at then that would be also good to start our excavation. So let's try. So first use your knife and uh, cut through the circle of the plate. So this will give you the hole to be that, right? Sort of an outline. Yeah. And now we can use either a spoon or just use hand so to take out. But like you so said, we don't want to use our bare hands if we're going to do any chemical analysis yeah. with the sample afterwards. Yeah. So let me do and you just see how I do, right? I'll supervise. Yeah. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Earthworm. Nice little worm. Yeah, which indicates that this site is quite uh, fertile. So if you find a worm, do you want to, you don't need to scoop him out and keep him? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I sometimes, I just keep it in the bag for some uh, second consideration. Otherwise, you can just take it out. And I noticed you're being careful to go straight down with the walls of the hole and not right. expand beyond that initial size. Yeah. Okay, now we use the screwdriver. And I have some scissors ready here. I'm guessing those are for if there's yeah. roots or... Yeah, I have already seen the roots here. So like this way, I need your help. So to cut it off, yeah, along the wall of the hole, right? Thanks. How deep do we need to go? Are we almost done? We also we use a ruler to mirror if it's uh, 20 centimeter deep. 
right? So now let's just mirror it. Okay, so it's 20, or maybe like 20.1 or 2. So that, that's good enough. So we have the right volume? Yeah, we just take the ruler out, and um, the next uh, step is to measure the volume of the hole. Okay. So, and we use uh, the plastic bag, and um, you want to make sure that this bag is not uh, leaking. But, uh, so I have already double checked in the lamp. Okay. So we just use it. And first you insert the plastic bag, and then use your fingers to make the bag just contact with the walls tightly. Okay. So fill the whole volume of the hole. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now, so now we take uh, this graduated cylinder, mm -hmm. and uh, we pour water in to make it uh, just at the top, so that's 1,000 milliliter or one liter, right? Got one liter. Yeah, one liter. And then we just pour the water in the hole. Yes, because I can see a few spots where the bag is sticking yeah. out and there's air right. bubbles in yeah. there. And just hold it up, so make sure that the water will not flow away. So. Okay, now just pour a little bit more water. And just to the top of this, the soil line? Yeah. It's right here. So now we are there. And then we just read the volume of the remnant water in the cylinder. So uh, the volume of this uh, water left in the cylinder is 360 milliliter. And we started at 1000, right? Mm -hmm. So which means this hole occupies about uh, uh, exactly uh, 640 milliliter. Okay. That's your volume. So we uh, take this bank out and uh, slowly, very, very slowly. Sometimes you need your help with the other hand, like this. And take it out and double check if it's, it's leaking, are there any water outside? And also just look at the hole, see it's dry, there's no water. So we know the volume of the hole from the water yeah, and, and we, we, we have, have everything that came out. Yes. So I guess we take this back to the lab to finish our measurement.